So we're talking about the same drawing, except we switched up the slope, just like you're going to see. So those people who like ignore the given, trying to put it in your face, they're not going to do that on an exam. They're going to they're going to want to know that you like focus boom right on it, and in your mind you highlighted it. All right, they changed, but that could have been two questions later. Storm drainage system serving same building. Code would require the roof drain. Code would require the roof drain at point F. Not talking conductor pipes. We're talking the roof drain itself. We're talking that thing right there. Right there. Which when I drop it in the roof, what do you notice? It goes vertical first. It's going vertical, even though that looks like a floor drain, because it is, because they don't make roof drains for CAD drawings. <laughs> There's a vertical piece before you're going horizontal. A roof drain is going to be sized off the vertical tables. That's what you're looking at when we drop down to the drawing and look at F, and it's literally pointing to the circle because it's pointing again to that sitting on the roof. Or that, the vertical piece. So whatever the roof drain is, that vertical piece intersecting with this, because most of us are going to put a Y right there with an N clean out. But it doesn't have to. You can make a little vertical piece and then switch back to whatever this horizontal piece minimum size is to be because the vertical and the horizontal are gonna be two different sizes. You might leave them all the same size because that's what you do. But if you're counting budget numbers, it makes a difference. And budgets make a difference on jobs. So there's F. Here's the question, we're looking at the roof drain. In order to do F, you basically already did it as we look at the drawing because F, is only draining one portion of the roof. And again, we have highlighted and colored these for a particular reason, so that you're seeing all these as separate roof areas because you don't really know what's going on underneath. These are separate roof areas. So the only water being drained through that roof drain is coming off of this roof area. None of it is migrating over there in your head. It's not happening. It's all been sloped and in this case uh, it's been the roof has been sloped to direct all water to that roof drain from every corner of this roof area and then the roofers did the same thing over here to that roof drain but the piping slope is different for these pipes because you're looking at it as a standalone question not that it's in the same building and everything's an eighth inch slope as confusing as that can be to some of you. That's why we talk about the code conditioning piece. If you were in this building, you would do everything either in an eighth inch slope or a quarter inch slope. But when you get questions, they're treating it as individual questions for an individual building, even though they look exactly the same. That's all I can tell you. Quarter inch slope, what is the constant? That's the column you're gonna be in. There's a quarter inch slope also represented by 250, I'm seeing. It is 250 square feet of roof area can drain through a one inch pipe in one hour. I don't care whether it's copper or steel, it's just an engineered constant. And I'll look at quarter and go, how can I remember that? Well, Quarter inch pitch is 0.25, even though that has nothing to do with the constant. For those of you who think it might, it has nothing to do with it. It's just 250 square feet of roof aerial drain through a one inch pipe in one hour. This one was 200. Half inch, 300. What did we have? And was the slope important? Did the slope mean anything to you in question two? 
Absolutely, the slope meant nothing, but it was there. It had nothing to do with sizing pipe F in this question, because pipe F was pointing directly at the circle, which represents the roof drain, which the water is going to go down the roof drain vertical before it goes horizontal. It was just a distractor. Push some of you into table one when you truly needed to be in table two. Up here, you are in table one. Section 1017, page 180. But here now, we're in table two. The vertical portion. Still in 1017, but we're on a different page. What page were we on? Page 181 for table two. Very good. Again, just a quick recap. We're going to be draining 1,750 square feet of roof area down that roof drain right there. We now see two arrows pointing at it. One's black, one's green. You're going to go over to your table. You're going to have this table on your exam, which right now, not applicable for this question. You drop it down to here, which has, two, again, two sides. That's one side of the table. Bam. And this is the other side. Anything vertical is coming off of this. Size of vertical storm drain conductors and outside leaders. Know what a conductor is and know what a leader is by definition. If you haven't gotten that, if you haven't been studying your definitions in section 1003, which you all, if you were with us, had looked at in tier one, any of you came from some other school who probably just signed you in and then signed you out 45 minutes later, and you, know, you probably didn't do any of that. 1750, what size is the roof drain at F, Kevin V? Three inch. How many of you would agree that's three inch? Very good. It is indeed three inch. Thank <laughs> you.